gravity is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. Howdy YouTube, <laughs> this is Mr. Miles, and uh, if you're not familiar with me, I stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Miles. Uh, we stream a lot of, uh, uh, recently, Overwatch, it's been like my game, it's been super fun. Um, I'm very new uh, to kind of the Overwatch community, so it's been, it's been interesting. <laughs> Um, the the people who I've met uh, throughout uh, the game have just been super super welcoming and awesome and uh, and giving me and giving me tips and tricks along the way. Uh, right now I'm I'm kind of maining uh, Orisa as well as Reinhardt, uh, so I'm a bit of a, a tank a tank role at heart. Um, so I'm super excited at the potential of Sigma being our newest tank uh, and, and kind of getting to see what his what his toolkit's gonna be like you know what i mean so uh we don't normally do analysis videos uh regarding uh any anything <laughs> i do trailer reactions once in a while uh sometimes i'll post my my uh my favorite clips from twitch up on my youtube channel but for the most part i i don't necessarily do a lot of youtube content so this is kind of a first for me so bear with me as we jump into this trailer analysis introducing sigma Gravity is a harness. Gravity is a harness. My entire career. So, um, we kind of we got this teased earlier, kind of in the weekend, the end of last week, at more like on Thursday, I think. Uh, this kind of was whiteboard talking about gravity and whatnot. Um, and uh, I, I was intrigued at the moment. <laughs> I was intrigued then. Uh, and since then, we've gotten little kernels, little hints of, of who this character was. Um, and then uh, Jeff Kaplan uh, went on uh, kind of a, a popular streamer's uh, stream talking about, uh, you know, Overwatch in general. And uh, we saw uh, the, the, the character portrait for Sigma, and we're all kind of like, uh, who, who's this dude? Um, and he was like, oh yeah, it's just like a secret, but really not, it's not a secret. So, <laughs> um, anyway, let's, let's move on. ...has been devoted to this idea, to this moment, decades. If the unifying theories are correct, we will soon be able to harness the power of a black hole. So, 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 so. We've been within this right now. Sigma just described uh, decades of work going into a specific moment. Um, we'll find out kind of what happens in this particular moment throughout the throughout the origin here. Um, but as I keep as I continue watching this, um, each time I watch it, I pick up different things. Um, we've got these two little orb things right here. Um, one. One seems to do, one seems to have these little pressure points um, within it. Um, I'm wondering if these things push outward. I wonder if these things push outward. I'm thinking about this guy's toolkit, okay? I wonder if these things push outward. So he throws an orb down, does kind of like an AoE knockback blast, which would coincide with Reinhardt's knockback buff. Uh, or resistance buff, um, especially if you're going to be putting another character who can do more knockbacks. Um, and then we have another one that kind of um, kind of circles around, kind of goes in a particular direction. Um, I'm wondering if that one is more of a vortex, so he throws this out, um, it pulls people towards it, uh, possibly an alt. Maybe he puts these two two things together to produce an alt. Uh, so maybe it it pulls people in and it expands out. Um, I don't know. But from what Sigma is describing right now is all this work, decades of work, has been f has been culminating into this one particular moment. Nothing will ever be the same. Why? This is wrong. This is so first thing we get is a bit of a a bit of a horror aspect to it, where he's yelling, "Why? Why?" Um, and in this the singularity is you know black hole is essentially splitting splitting things into splitting him into uh which plays more into kind of his character development throughout this particular two minute origin story Feel this 
Um, that line about the field is failing actually reminds me of the Reinhardt cinematic where he says the, sh this, the barrier is failing. Um, I don't think those those are at any point connected, but just the way that he says it, it's kind of a bit of a borrowed line. Um, but again, we see more of a, a split down the middle. We have the, we have two sigmas here, um, himself being kind of torn apart. Ooh, what happened? This is haunting. <laughs> um, so we have we have the two sigmas being torn apart. Maybe this fractured his mind. He's now he's now a bit of uh, a bit of cuckoo. He's out to, he's out to lunch. Um, the just kind of just the. The glazed over look in his eyes. Um, he's in shackles, so it's it's potential that he this this catastrophic catastrophic event that happened has now uh, that not obviously it's left him in a in a complete uh, fractured state, but potentially it was illegal. Uh, now he's being detained, maybe in kind of some sort of mental ward. Where am I? Why am I being imprisoned? He released me. So this the the shaking head, um, the the release me aspect is it, again kind of more playing along uh, horror overtones or undertones, tones. Um, to where we get a, a bit of a flash forward, um, to the potential of what Sigma turns into, um, where he's kind of like basically an end boss, right? Um, he's got this kind of Moira esque armor. Um, he's you know utilizing some sort of maybe some sort of gravity field um to hold up um kind of this debris around him um these shards of rock being being teleported around him or, or brought to him um you know maybe that sets up a potential kind of debris field um where to kind of use he utilizes that as a shield maybe he utilizes these rocks uh, or pieces of debris as uh, uh projectiles as maybe a long uh, or ranged ability attack Um, and then we're brought right back to, we're brought right back into, uh, into Sigma as kind of the, the mental, the mental patient, um, where we see these, these equations being, uh, being displayed back on the screen, giving us the indication that these things are, con these are now running through his mind. Um, he's going through all the equations. How did it, how did this happen? Uh, what could I have done differently? What is that melody? Um, which kind of like reminds me of like if you were you know if you had lost you know if your mind was fractured you were laying on a on a, on a gurney being wheeled through uh, maybe a mental ward or a hospital um, and you're overhearing kind of like the the music played to, it's supposed to be calming right um, to the to the patients um, it, it it kind of it creates this more of a madding state instead so where it's supposed to be comfort um, is is creating or just adding to his badness. Now, um, now if you didn't hear that, he's saying hold it together. Um, this is more of a, uh, I, th I believe, a, a replay of of this of this event that's happened. But whereas before, where we saw him kind of trying to hold the singularity together, this black hole or whatever this was together, um, we saw two copies of him. Now we see three. Hold it together. Density. So this this is cool um, because this is the the optimistic scientist realizing that his his experiment is failing uh things are going wrong you can see the concern in his eyes um he's replaying this as he's lying in this bed right this is this is more of a memory so it's being displayed as an overlay on top of him lying in this bed um so again he's replaying this over and over in his head it's too much to hold on to so this also is cool because where we just saw an over of him laying in the bed with the overlay of his form, well, I say his former self, but his self, um, you know, before this event or as this event was transpiring. Now we see him in this fractured state, um, kind of overlaid on top of where it all happened, where it, where it all began. I will bring you a new and then we see the the doctor again more. Kind of in control you see he's more uh confident he's he's you know uh 
still kind of formulating he was able to harness um the particular singularity that he has here um but was unable to kind of take that next step and see you know what happens um in in this experiment that, that caused this uh this event but now it's kind of like back it's him but it's more now overlaid inside the chaos of when this whole thing started to to go awry new understanding of the violence to where we get kind of that finished product on that backdrop but now we hear sirens we hear a conflict happening now in the background gunfire happening um is this potential that uh that maybe sig was being kept in the, maybe an overwatch facility um after this event happened uh they detained him um and now maybe talon is coming in to break him out we see him disappear there for a second um kind of indicating maybe he was taken out of the bed the universe is singing to me the universe is singing to me, which is a great line. I have no idea what this means, but it, it's, a, it's a great line. And now he's back kind of in his bed, but now everything's kind of melting away around him. What um, is that melody? And then again, what is that melody kind of coming back uh, to him? We're kind of just floating Freedom. out in space. Imprisonment. It's all an illusion. Imprisonment's all of an all an illusion. Gravity is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. So gravity is a harness. I have harnessed I've harnessed the harness. Um what's really cool about this shot is that we have him kind of as that scientist i keep kind of going back to that this optimistic scientist is maybe able to produce achieve something try to take it a step further um and kind of pay the ultimate kind of pay the price for it um it it's possible that he destroyed his destroyed his mind created a bit of a duality maybe he's more of a jekyll and hyde now I have um, Talon came in and broke him out um, and then utilizing some sort of neural uh, reprogramming uh, was able to salvage a bit of his his uh, you know um, his genius his uh, kind of put together his his, his mind um, but kind of transformed him into a weapon and this is kind of what we have as a finished product um, we have essentially three versions of of sigma throughout we have the the optimistic scientist who's who's going out trying to achieve great things um because of his he kind of flew too close to the sun so to speak um kind of fractured himself um he kind of uh, you know basically destroyed his mind um replaying the same event over and over and over again to where he was he was uh, you know uh either captured um uh you know busted out what have you um you know by uh, what seems to be talon um to then transform so this is more of a uh, is his chrysalis phase right um to where we have more of his, his finished product um which is kind of the sigma in this power suit let's move forward just a smidge so we get to down here Gravity is a harness. I have harness. So what's great about this shot is that we have we have him standing there with this this oh, let's see. A little too far there. Here we go. We have him with this with this orb, right? This the singul it's it, singularity or black hole, what have you. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but it's got this kind of yellowish uh yellowish squiggle squiggle light around it. Um and it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Moira's, um, uh, her healing uh, orb as well as her damaging orb, which we kind of get the vibe of right here. Um, so he's got these two different, these two different orbs. Um, you know, they change hands here, which then Have this harnessed one, the harness. this one turns into two different orbs. So I'm wondering whether or not 
you know, he either has some sort of uh, ability that's able to heal, but not potentially stationary, uh, as well as damaging. Um, kind of like, you know, a Moira, kind of like um, uh, Zenyatta, who's able to do both damage as well as healing. Um, so I wonder if they'll they'll kind of incorporate that within a tank. Um, maybe these these two orbs um, can use be used uh, you know one at a time. Maybe it's kind of like a two charged ability. Um, uh, who, who knows exactly? We'll find out shortly though. And then kind of in this last scene here, we have the other members of Talon, where we have um, a Reaper right here on the left hand side. Um, we have Moira, we have Widowmaker, uh, Sombra, and as well as Doomfist. So uh, this, this definitely confirms that he's a member of Talon. Um, they're without a tank, so um, you know Sigma seems to fit that bill. It's in and then in that last... That last bit here. It's in that last bit there. I can't make out what he says. Um, I know some some eagle eye watchers or uh, or listeners um, from the from the trailer were able to figure out if you play it backwards um, or, or in reverse, uh, you're able to hear that he says "release me" is what I is what I'm gathering. Um, so interesting what that could mean. Um, but yeah, guys, that is uh, that's Hero Thirty One, and at the end here, we get to see a bit of what his in-game, um, his in-game looks like, which I I really like. I really like his look. I like it. I dig. I dig this look. Um, he's another hero with a with a with a small waist. Uh, broad shoulders and chest. Uh, it's more of a power suit that gives that. Uh, but again, we see these orbs. I, I have no idea what they what they do. Um, but it it it's gonna be fun to kind of get the ability to play with him for a bit uh, and see what his toolkit is. Um, I don't haven't. I I don't know when he'll be on PTR. Um, or when we'll find out more on what he can do exactly. Um, but I'm super excited for, uh, for what his skin variations might be and learning a little bit more about kind of like what he's, you know, what he's about. Um, you know, if he's been, you know, maybe if he, maybe he was a member of, uh, of Overwatch. Um, uh, there seems to be a lot of, of characters or heroes that have started off and with one faction have changed over um so maybe he was some sort of scientist or uh, or something for overwatch um kind of reached for the stars or flew too close to the sun uh, a bit um this catastrophic catastrophic event left him fractured um he was detained by overwatch and then broken out by talon maybe something like that um maybe there's a connection because of his of his gear the way he looks maybe maybe he he's somehow related to to moira um who knows well i mean we'll find out um but this is guys this is this is hero 31 um i want to thank you all for uh for stopping by for for watching feel free to like and subscribe um and again i stream over on twitch um all that information and the links to my social down below within the description um and feel free guys let me know what you think down below um what do you think his abilities are going to be um and when you think we're gonna the earliest we're gonna get to, to get to play this guy in the ptr and uh and in game and whether or not and how he's going to affect the meta of uh of, of of the comps uh for overwatch league and whatnot so uh yeah guys thank you so much for uh for watching and uh y'all take care now <laughs> bye